Ladies and gentlemen, the man to my right has been teaching a master class in the art of interviewing for decades. To his Yoda, I am a young Jedi. I am Luke. Dirk. Bless you, Cappy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This is Larry King, and welcome to Cabby Presents. Thank you, Cabby. My pleasure. I don't know how you do this, but if you're interviewing someone that the public knows a lot about, how are you able to find out things that we don't know? By just being curious. By I interviewed Ali when he first won the Olympic gold medal in light heavyweight in Rome. I interviewed him when he was Cassius. I interviewed him right after he became Muhammad Ali. Michael Jordan, I not only interviewed him a few times, I was there when he left to go play baseball. If, uh, let's say I'm interviewing A-Rod today, the worst question to begin with is, do you take drugs? <laughs> and the reason that's a bad question is, one, puts him on a defensive. Two, you could answer it yes or no, because you began with did. Of course. You just say no, right? Instead, you go into other, completely other things. How's the hip? How do you feel? You're leading up to other things. What do you think of all this, this drug thing? What's your opinion? You see, that's simply put, you're not accusing him of anything. I spent a day at LeBron James' house. So we know a lot about LeBron James, but there's other things you, you, you may not know. He is a really genuine guy, and the people around him are people who grew up with him. That's a wonderful trait, because the people around him to them, he's not LeBron James, he's LeBron. You mentioned uh, Michael Jordan, and, and a lot of people compare LeBron to Michael Jordan, because we That's you know, a big sports. dispute, all today is, I listened to sports talk radio, that's all they were talking about. And the problem with that is, one, they never played against each other. So all we're doing is comparing by what we saw and our personal relationship with them. Michael Jordan won six titles, right? But he played with the Bulls all the time. And the Bulls got better as he progressed, and they got better players. LeBron played in Cleveland. Well, he didn't have good people around him until he got to Miami. So you have to withhold judgment. LeBron can do everything well, all five things well. So I look at him with amazement, and I think eventually he will break everything ever broken. If Michael Jordan and LeBron James walk into a room today, more people would go to LeBron James. You think so? Of course. The Michael Jordan? He's playing. But it's Michael Jordan, he's playing. There, it's Michael Jordan, he's playing. <laughs> I mean, your attraction would be to, that was Michael Jordan, was he? LeBron James, my God. I have a, a different style than you do when I converse with people, and... Um, you your own style? Correct, yes. Uh, and some find it obnoxious. Uh, are, I, you, are you obnoxious? Yes, 100%. So I do certain things in interviews. Uh, do you ever touch your Yes. Uh, no. Why would I have to touch them? I hug people. That's not obnoxious. That's nice. When you get in their face, you get in their face like this? No, angry. but it's more like, uh, like this. Ladies and gentlemen, the man to my left with a dynamite mustache. You have very good breath. Though. That's good. That's okay? That's your style. Oh, you breathe it on me, dog. For this dude, you, I think you inspired me change something. Thank you, Gabby. And I, I was closed this way. Get out of my house! <laughs> <laughs>